Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bastion. Developed by Supergiant Games and released back in 2011. My god, that's a while ago. Uh, I picked this up in a wind sale, and I never actually played it. In an age where I simply purchased games on sale because, well, they were on sale, like 75% off. So, why the hell wouldn't I buy them? Anyway. I found this game in my Steam library and decided it needed firing up just to see what all the rage was about that a few of my friends kept going on about. We'll start with the settings. They do what they are supposed to do. Basics such as key binding, sound and resolution are all covered which is always nice. This game you can play with either a mouse and keyboard which does the job brilliantly I may add or you can use a control pad. I sometimes use a 360 pad but I didn't feel the need to on this one. Uh, the keyboard and mouse definitely do the job pretty well. Basic WASD is all you need to move around and hitting the spacebar will do one of two things. It will make you dodge roll, which is very handy in this game and you'll be using it a lot. Or it will recover you from attacks which actually send you airborne. Left and right mouse buttons are used for whatever weapons you currently have equipped. Uh, Q is for your special attacks which have their own dedicated resource and the F key which heals you providing you have your health pots filled which are capped at a max of three and finally we have the shift key which is enabled partway through the first level which brings up a shield you will be using shift as well as spacebar quite a lot or at least I did when massive things try and smack me in the head I think that's all the key bindings practically covered. Uh, like I said, they're pretty simple, uh, which is great because anyone can pick this up and find it easy to get to grips with. As you can see from this video, the graphic style is quite stunning. Uh, now for a game that's been bordering on five and a half years old, that's quite an accomplishment in this day and age. Everything in this game looks wonderful and nothing at all feels out of place. The soundtrack is definitely worth a mention. It fits the game perfectly, it really does. Most games I've played have a decent soundtrack, but it is often buried in the gameplay, which is not a bad thing by any means at all. But for this game, the soundtrack for some reason stands out so very boldly. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love it. It's engaging, and at times you will just stand still and listen. Or maybe that's just me being weird. I don't know. Either way, it's a fantastic soundtrack. Now, I have played this game for about an hour and a half. And not a single moment of it has been irritating or annoying or a letdown. It's always been very fun. And the pace of the game works perfectly. Never a dull moment. Even when you're just smashing the scenery. Because, you know, barrels in games always have to be punished. Now... I actually do love this game. I really do. I'm actually annoyed with myself for not giving this game a chance when I purchased the bloody things only years ago. It's brilliantly made, it looks great, and it plays wonderfully. This game deserves all of the praise it receives. Okay, so, the pricing. You can pick this up on Steam right now for £10.99. Now, for a game that's edging towards six years old, I'm a little bit torn by that price tag. I have to be realistic here. The game itself has been around for quite some time now, and there are actually two editions of this on Steam. The first is the base game itself, the second comes bundled with a soundtrack. The soundtrack version is actually £16.97. Now, you're paying £6, basically, for a soundtrack. Now, as much as I love that soundtrack, it is not worth that price tag either. For the 10.99, I would expect to see the game and the soundtrack bundled together, and I don't think that's an unreasonable price, really. If you do find this game on sale, it's a no-brainer. You just have to buy it, and you'll love it, and you'll have no regrets whatsoever. It's especially the time to do it now if you've just had Steam cards for Christmas. Uh, this is one of those games you should definitely look at. There is no doubt about it. So, there you have it. 
Bastion. Just go get it. Get it now. You know you want to. It's that good. It really is. It's a fantastic RPG which really hasn't skipped a beat, in my honest opinion. I've been Wolf, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, fucking shit, Roadhog.